Hey fellow explorers, it's Chris from TDR Explorer and I'm going to show you the today guide for May 2017 at Tokyo Disneyland. I'm going to show you everything that's new from merchandise to food so you know how to plan your day if you're going to the parks this month. Okay, so here is the today guide for May 1st to 31st 2017 at Tokyo Disneyland and you can see it's still Easter and you can see Mickey there in his Usatama catcher outfit, super adorable. And there is a hidden Mickey on here and it's on the left side. I won't show you where, I'll let you find it yourself. And really quick, it still comes with this egg hunt. And I went over this in detail in our last video for April, 2017, so I won't go over it again. So you can go over and watch that video where I go into detail about this. It just shows um, the Easter egg hunt you can do and all the different eggs you can find. All right, so let's take a look inside Tokyo Disneyland. All right, so on the inside here, you can see it's explaining Disney's Easter at Disneyland. And we have these cute Usa Tamas, which are these egg rabbit hybrid things. <laughs> They're super cute. So Usa Tama, is a play on words. So Usa in Japanese is that's the short form for Usagi, which means rabbit. And then Tama is short for Tamago, which means egg. So Usa Tama. Rabbit rabbit egg, I guess? I don't know. So this is just explaining the Usa Tama on the run parade that you can watch. So make sure you check the uh, the times when you go into the park to see what time it's playing when you're there. And it's just um, explaining the, the, the different Easter eggs that are around the park and everything and all the different goods, which I'll get to in a moment. Really, really super cute. Um, up here, really quick, this is showing where like, some of the decorations are. So the front of the park, and this is in the hub area. And this is explaining the, the Usatama egg hunt that I showed earlier. You can get a sticker. Again, make sure you watch our previous video for April where I explain how to do this. And then these are more decorations throughout the park. And then down here we have Camp Woodchuck, which is the newest area at Tokyo Disneyland. And it's over in by, or not in, it's by Western Land. And you can go and eat there at the Camp Woodchuck kitchen. And also you can meet Donald and Daisy in a separate meet and greet. They each have their own separate line and they have a wait time posted outside. So I make sure make sure you go and check it out because it's definitely worth it. And over here, this is just explain how to buy your e-ticket online. Um, and then the, the gift certificate, uh, thousand yen, in thousand yen increments and it has Finding Nemo theme for the new attraction at Disney Sea, Sea Rider. And you can only get these at Tokyo Disney Resort and they're only usable at Tokyo Disney Resort. You can't use them at other Disney parks. And this is just explaining stuff for your birthday. You can ask for a birthday sticker from a cast member if it's your birthday and they'll put your name on it in Japanese and they'll do a cute little drawing on it. And then here, this is a really nice little advert for Camp Woodchuck at Tokyo Disneyland. It's really cute. Definitely go and check that out. All right, so this is why I tell everyone to grab one of these. You can see there's a lot of information in here. Uh, there's some stuff in here that is from last month, so I'll go over that very quickly, such as the Easter merchandise and food, but there's also some stuff in here to take note of. So quickly up here, I covered this last month, so you can watch this in our April video for Tokyo Disneyland, and this is like a special charm that you can make that's Easter themed. And over here, this is all the dis different Easter merchandise. And I have a full video going over all of these in more detail. And you get this super cute of Satama and everything. And over here, we got some food, tons and tons of food. So we got these souvenir glasses with a dessert in it. And, and we, we, we have all this on our website in English as well. So this is really cute. Looks like a little bunny and everything. I really like that Easter Sunday. Super cute. And this is at the ice cream cone. You can get that. And then another sparkling drink. And then we got these bread cones. 
that has clam chowder in it. And we have this crepe, this lemon cheese cream, not cream cheese, cheese cream crepe. And it has marshmallows in it too. I've, I have, I've had this and it's actually quite good. And you can get this at the Cafe Orleans in Adventureland. And then we have the pancake chicken sandwich, which is always good. This is at the Huey Dewey Louie Good Time Cafe. And then we have this egg shaped sandwich. It looks super good. It has egg salad in it and everything. And this is at the Sweetheart Cafe. And you can also get a souvenir lunch case with it. And then over here, this is at, uh, this is at the Plaza restaurant. And yeah, it looks like an egg and everything. Like a, that's a hamburger with white sauce and then they have like the egg yolk on there to make it look like an egg. Cute. And then here we have this at Grandma Sarah's. This is very hearty, very filling, very good too. We have the ketchup rice that looks like a cracked egg with scrambled eggs and there's chicken and everything. And over here we have this fried chicken sandwich at the Tomorrowland Terrace. Then we have the orange Danish. Oh my goodness, this, this is in the hub area. And it's actually quite delicious. You can see right here, this is where it tells you you can find it. Castle, and then it's on the left side there. And then of course we have these candy cases as well. Super adorable. And then a popcorn bucket. This is also available at Tokyo Disney Sea, so they have one Easter popcorn bucket. And if you go to this URL, tdl-popcorn.jp, it'll show all the latest popcorn flavors and popcorn buckets and where you can find them. The only thing, it's a, it's a, only in Japanese, but uh, you can kind of figure it out by the pictures. So you can get this popcorn bucket at the Sweetheart Cafe, which is really super cute. And also in front of the Mark Twain. And then down here, this is just highlighting some of the normal food that you can get throughout the park. So there's like pizza and then the brand new um, Plasma Rays Diner. They have all the different rice bowls. And if you're a vegetarian, they actually have a vegetarian rice bowl. So that's really good to know. And this is in Tomorrowland. And then we have curry at the um, Hungry Bear. And then we have the waff chicken waffle sandwich at Camp Woodchuck Kitchen, which is super, super good. So make sure you have that. And then we have this other barbecue sandwich, pork. Ooh, that looks really good. And this is, this is at the refreshment corner. And then here, uh, we have these D-Lights, which is also available at Tokyo Disney Sea. We have the blood orange with the coffee jelly, which is really good. This is like the orange is very sour, very sour. And then this is the vanilla smoothie and coffee jelly. This is very heavy on the coffee flavor because there's like little coffee beans and stuff in it. So if you're not a coffee fan, you're probably not going to like this because it's very heavy on, on coffee, like bitter coffee flavor. Whereas this one, um, the coffee jelly is just, it's nice. And it's kind of like not as bitter because of the sour there. And then over here we have our Star Wars churro, which has been around for a little bit. And then we also have a C-3PO dessert. You can get these in Tomorrowland. And we have some new Beauty and the Beast merchandise, which is super adorable. So you can see a t-shirt there. Uh, this is women's and it comes in medium and large and then we have a tote bag and then we have a mrs potts mug yeah it says it's a mug and then we have a fan hair scrunchie and all this so that's super adorable and of course it makes sense because the movie just came out here in japan and then we have more of these more of these these are more goods what are these um Happily Ever After Goods. I should have checked the name beforehand, shouldn't I? But yeah, more goods. They always have something new coming out. So you can kind of see there's a mug and a drink bottle and a plate and a coaster set and like a mirror and a cushion and a hairbrush. And this is sunscreen. Speaking of sunscreen, there's some more merchandise. This is all sun protection stuff. So here, these are towels with hoods that protect you from the UV. And this is a really cute one. Oh, sorry, these are just regular towels. And these ones here are meant to protect you from the UV, from the sun, so you don't get sunburned. Uh, sunscreen, a little expensive for sunscreen. You can get it cheaper at like the convenience store and stuff, but 
if you want a really nice bottle, there you go. And these are like gloves and sleeves. Now they're very popular here in Japan for the summer. A lot of people wear these so they don't tan or get sunburnt on their arms and hands. So you'll see a lot of people wearing that and they have a cute little design on them. And then of course we have the lip balm as well. And then down here, uh, this is also available at Tokyo Disney Sea. This is at the Grand Emporium. And this is a Today Guide Map holder. So you can put your plastic, or sorry, you can put your paper, folders, maps. What are they called? Maps. You can put the maps. <laughs> you can put the maps in here so they don't get like destroyed and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of cool because these maps are quite awesome to keep as a souvenir. And then up here, Rainbow Merchandise. I have a full video that's gonna that shows all of this stuff. So we have like a hairband and a bow tie and glasses and t-shirts. There's a whole range of t-shirts. You can kind of see the sizes down there in the left. So they have kid sizes all the way up to 3L. And for t-shirts, if you are like, let's say you're a medium normally in Japan, you'll probably fit the large. So always go one size up that you typically are normally and for the prices if um if you're from canada or australia if you drop the last two digits that's roughly how much it is in that currency so it's about 26 dollars for the largest t-shirt for american dollars us dollars this is probably about 23 dollars there's also some wristbands here and a button and a smartphone case uh, these are universal smartphone cases so they will not fit like iPhone plus phones because they're too big, but um, normal size phones, they will fit in here very nicely. And then we've got some charms here. All right, fellow explorers, thank you so much for joining me as I showed you the today guide for May, 2017 at Tokyo Disneyland. And remember, you can pick it up right at the turnstiles when you go into the park. If you want to learn more, make sure you visit our website, tdrexplorer.com. And don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube.